This playthrough is rated E10+. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Valor are back here with another episode of Sly 2 Band of Thieves. In the last episode, we finished episode 3. Got, well, we thought we got the clockwork heart, but no. We were we were tricked from behind by Nayla. For personal gain or whatnot, it's hard to say, but she threw she threw Sly into, into the brink. And Carmelita as well. So now we have been sent to prison, except for our smarty boy, Bitly the Turtle. Who we now must play as to uh, rescue our friends out. Will we save our friends or will Bentley get thrown into the drink as well in episode 4, Jailbreak? It took a sleepless week of data crunching, but I eventually tracked down the location of my friends locked away in the mysterious Towers of Prague. At the moment, they are the unwilling guests of Interpol's most renowned prison warden, the Contessa. While still a criminal psychology student, she entered into a whirlwind romance and married a wealthy aristocrat. Sadly, the union was short-lived as the general suspiciously died a few weeks after the ceremony. The widowed Contessa put her education and newly acquired estate to work by opening a criminal rehabilitation center. Her pioneering use of hypnotherapy has produced some good results and subsequently earned her a prominent position within Interpol. My friends are locked up somewhere in the clinic and are slated for the Contessa's Good Samaritan brainwashing. If I don't bust them out soon, they'll be working a nine to five job selling shoes, and I'll be out two best friends. Well, well, looks like it's Bentley's turn to shine as uh, we're in Prague and we must now save the gang from the Contessa. Oh, I guess I should have said at the beginning of the episode, warning if you're arachnophobic, you know? <laughs> Although she's not really, I mean, she's almost too humanoid-ish to really affect people by that, but... All right, anyway, before we get started, I gathered some money off screen to, uh, well, buy the abilities I was supposed to have at this level, the Juggernaut Throw. We'll get more treasures and gold as we continue on, but I got a little... I just grabbed two treasures I'd missed in a previous level, and that gave me enough money, so let's buy this for Murray. Spoilers! We're going to be able to play as Murray and, and Sly again at some point. <laughs> uh, it's not really that spoiler. It's pretty obvious. We're not at the end of the game yet, so... All right, got to figure out how to get our friends. Let's do some reconnaissance. Yeah, it sounds like there's already some bottles. I'll probably... Over to the Contessa's house. Maybe I'll pick up a few leads on the location of Sly and Murray. I'll probably hold off on uh, any bottle, unless there's bottles like right in the way. Well, oh, this place looks kind of futuristic. Uh, well, not futuristic, I mean, but very, uh, well. Yeah, there we go. they got rail cars, or not rail cars. I don't know what the word that would be. Oh, can you actually hide this? Oh, that's kind of funny. And Murray's like, so he's like, ah. oh, albatrosses with with crossbows on their feet? Huh. Interesting. Uh, Alright, so we gotta get... Well, I was gonna go straight for there. There it is. But, uh, yeah, I'll probably just deal with the bo er, bottle gathering when we get uh, everyone back. Like I said, spoilers, we're gonna get everyone back. Uh, and yes, there are bottles and everything like that here, so that, that really doesn't change anything. Take this, scum! So yeah, we just gotta figure out. So we know. Whoa! Ah! Gargoyles! What the? What are you doing here? Get out of my way! Run! Seriously, Bentley. Actually, I don't think that's where I'm supposed to go. I just went in there to to escape them. Actually, am I supposed to go? Oh! Oh, we found the safe already. Huh? Well, I'll remember that for later. Alright, back outside. The only reason I went in here is because I, uh, 
because the him getting caught or by people, so I was like, eh, I don't want to mess with that. But yeah, that didn't take. Uh, apparently, the apparently finding the safe has nothing to do with the mission. So, all right, anyway. Uh, let's see. Where? Oh, okay. So we have to get up there. Whoa! I did not notice that was spiked. All right. Yeah, first day on the job, Mary, and you're already getting, you're already taking a drink of the spike to rub there. All right. Can I just climb up that, or no? How am I supposed to get to the top of that thing? Oh, I must. Oh, there must be like a little thing there I missed. Huh? Oh, there's a bottle right. I'll get that later. Yeah, because Sly is better at a. Uh, Sly is better at like uh, climbing and stuff like that, so it's best to do exploration when you have him in your group, or when you have him and stuff. Aha! The Contessa is out making her rounds. Wait a second. The feathers on my sleep darts vibrate near sounds. If I maintain my position on top of this parabolic dish, I should be able to hear that frequency at a distance. This is great! If I tag the Contessa with my darts, I'll be able to listen in on whatever she says. I might even learn where she's locked up Sly and Murray. I've heard worse reasons to have a have like weird stuff like that work, so that yeah, was kinda creepy the way she was climbing up at the wall like a real spider. Yeesh. Well, I actually don't have arachnophobia, so that that didn't really matter really matter to me. Where'd she go? Oh, she jumping all over the place, yo! Calm down, lady. I need to hit you with my sleep dart thingy. No, no, stop. Stand still. Come on, lady. There we go. The claw gang is falling apart. The spice shipments have all but stopped. I never would have joined if I'd known it would be this easy to disrupt the plan. At least the Cooper gang is under lock and key. Their lopsided morality flies in the face of man's inherent selfishness. Ah well, they'll see it my way soon enough. Mm, looks like our looks like our lovely Contessa is a corrupt uh, corrupt official. She works for the Claw Gang. I eh, should have known that the gang would have had a had a um, someone on the inside of a uh, of the um, justice system. I guess in this case, Interpol. You need to stand still, lady. Those fools at Interpol. They keep sending me criminals and I keep making money. How come no one ever thought of this before? Hypnotize criminals and force them to reveal where they've hidden their fortune. I'm a genius. If only I had more spice to help me with a hypnosis. Spice would help, huh? So weaken the mind so hypnosis would work. You know, her voice kind of reminds me of Natasha from, uh, from Rocky and Bullwinkle. Well, I mean, most most Russian female voices kind of have the same kind of flair to them every time you hear it. But even though we're in Prague, she has a Russian type of voice, or at least accent. I mean, accent. I could be wrong. I don't live in the. I don't live in Europe, so you know, your guess is as good as mine. Like what accent is what? You know, I'm a <sighs> stand still, spider lady. It's it's as hard to crush spiders in real life. That blasted Cooper gang. The fat one. What's his name? Murray. Yes, Murray. He'll be the first to break. I should spend a few sessions probing that feeble mind. I can only imagine the wealth that gang has accumulated over the years. You know, I just realized she's talking to herself, not to anyone specific, just her. Usually when you talk to yourself, that's a sign of crazy, which I guess she is a criminal mastermind working in the, in you know, the justice system, so I guess it makes sense. That's like Cooper. Such a complex and rebellious mind. A month or two in the hole should break his spirit. Let him squat there week after week. He's seen that the guards along the wall all have motion detectors. There is no escape. Slowly, the reality of his captivity will set in, and I'll get to work on his mind. Inconceivable! She's no healthcare professional! 
Why, that's the most heinous crime I've ever heard of! Putting inmates into hypnosis so they'll tell her where they've stashed their loot! It dishonors both law enforcement and thieves at the same time! I should get to work and figure out a way to break Sly out of the hole. Well, you know, I realized Bentley's talking to himself, too, so technically they're both crazy, right? Alright, time to, I guess, time to get back to the base and figure out a plan to save uh, Murray and Sly. Sly is gonna, or Murray's the one we're most worried about because he has a simple mind. Not that he's dumb, just a mind is a little bit more susceptible to things such as that, which would be quite dangerous indeed. Ah! Bat! Ah! Can't say Bats always appear in any game you ever play, no matter what it is. In this case, they're guards, but still. I... Oh, I like the... I've noticed the music for this section is a little bit creepier, I think, than the other games. Like, you know, the first level was a bit more fun. The second one was a bit more, like... I don't know what the word I would use. Like, uh... I'll just go inside just to reset the map. Um, like the the Rajah thing, like his was a bit more like not natural, but like part of the area, you know. And now this one, yeah, it's part of the area, but they make it to be more of a dark, creepy setting because of where we're at, the situation, and so forth. So. That computer is part of a control system for the electromagnetic train. By hacking all the terminals along the train tracks. I should be able to reverse their polarity, thereby turning the train into a giant projectile. Without question, its impact on the prison walls should create a hole large enough for Sly to escape through. Looks like we're releasing Sly first. So we're turning in the train into a, a big-time bullet? Hmm. Well, I never heard this in The Great Escape, but uh, first time for everything, right? All right, let's hack this baby. Easy, one, two, three, measy. Ah, oh, we're playing the hacking ah, minigame. Nothing like a good computer hack job. Now the left analog stick should control my cyber avatar. Yeah, it's pretty hack easy. Hack it's like a lot of uh, like. Barrier nodes. Yeah. I should move the right analog stick in the direction I want to unleash my hacker code. By using both analog yeah. sticks at the same time, I'll be able to move and shoot in different directions. Yeah, it's a pretty easy, uh, pretty easy mini game. It's like Smash TV That's and stuff down. like that. The train should be picking up speed. For those who have played Smash TV, anyway. Classic arcade game. Should try it out. I think you can find it like Midway Classic bundles on like online or Steam or whatever your. Uh, a, you know, c console of choice or PC of choice or you know, streaming service or whatever. Yeah, I don't. I, I, this is probably this is one of the easier. Well, actually, I wouldn't say the easiest mini game because it's easier ones. This one I don't remember ever gets super difficult. I just don't remember failing to this one. But then again, this playthrough I'll probably end up failing to this one because I said that. But uh, it's fun. I, I like the fact that this game has. Like, just many small mini games, nothing too complicated. You know, fun. I, I think they're fun and short. They don't ever say they're welcome, you know. That's what you kind of do. Too many games try to, like. Well, too many games would try to, like, do, like, way too many mini games or make them super complicated. Or they'd have such a re repetitious, like, repeat. Like, they come back multiple times and take longer and longer. And you're like, ugh, I'm done with this. And it's just a pad out time. That's all it is there for. It's not to. It's not for fun. It's to keep us playing longer. Poor design, indeed. I think I'm not a game designer, but I know what I like. And I can recognize certain certain uh, tactics or whatever. It's like open world games. They they try to fill it, but half the time it's filled with like nothing interesting. Very few games can do that properly. Probably say one of the few games that I think does do it decently is actually Yakuza. Interestingly enough. So check it out. It's an adult themed game, but hey, when you get older or if you're already older while watching this, check it out. Alright. Oh man, that this, this one's gonna be a long game. By at least 50%. 50% you say? Halfway? Then do tell. Alright, so we gotta get to other sections of the map. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oops. 
Oh, am I supposed to... I wonder if I'm supposed to... Uh, I may have to... Maybe I have to go through that tunnel section. I might have to. Well, let's go. Because I doubt the game would want me to go all the way out of my... Whoa! I doubt the game, and that takes me inside. I probably was supposed to, like, keep following the... Uh, the tracks, I bet. Yeah, okay. Well, it looks like it had, like, a barrier on it, though, so I didn't know if I could, like, continue going that way, you know what I mean? You know, the, the like, it, it keeps the, uh, um, oh, wait, more gar gargles are gonna pop out of that thing, though. Yeah, I'm pretty far away, so I might have to just... Oh, those are tanks. Those are tanks. Ah! Ah! Ow! Oh, is that insta-kill you? <laughs> I mean, we were sent to another dimension. We weren't killed. <laughs> Whoops. Well, because when I was looking inside there, see... Well, oh, maybe I can just jump over it. Uh, I can just, sorry, folks. <sighs> I'm trying to... Well, ah. <laughs> Tonight I dine on turtle soup? I gotta, I gotta watch, I gotta watch myself, man. Yeah, I'm not dying to the minigame. I'm dying by bullet train. Woo. Sorry, when I was looking at that, it looked like it was a wall of electricity, but now that I notice it, it's just a little, uh, it's just a little spark that I can jump over easily, so. Oh, well. This is what I get for overanalyzing things again. That's what happens when you play too many games. You, you overcomplicate it. So simple games almost seem, you don't think, oh, they're not, they're not, they can't be that simple. Yes, yes they are. Oh. I keep getting hit by stray. Ah! Okay, I said something about like not dying to to this mini game. Who knows? It could be today. Nah, I, I think we should be fine. They're just this short enough section that it doesn't matter. And luckily, the game uh, auto saves after each mini game and section, so you're not completely hooked. Well, okay. Well, this is what happens if you get a little little loose, a little lucky and loot the foot loose. Kick off your Sunday shoes, man. Just two more terminals. Yeah, I'll probably wait for it more. Probably wait for the train to go by. Stop the train! Ah! <laughs> yeah, make uh, Alright, we'll wait for the train to go by again, I think. Hopefully I won't get hit. Alright, come on. Gotta read that blueprint. Yeah, hopefully we won't be throwing throwing Bentley from the train here. Oh, nuts! Woo! <laughs> ah. Alright, here, another one. So we got one more after this. We got this. Uh-oh, we've got, we've got ones that actually follow me this time. Uh-oh. Get a bit more dangerous. They all... Oh, okay, they just... Can you destroy those? I don't think so. No. I think they just keep respawning, so we'll just have to uh, kind of avoid them or, or finish them off or something. I wonder how many, the, how many they keep spawning. Do they just keep going or do they... Uh... There we go. Yeah, didn't need to destroy them at all. Or all of them, I mean. Alright, we've got yes, one more to go. One, at full two, speed. Now, on to reverse the field's polarity. All right, time to bust a hole in this place. Who knew just speeding up the train would eventually cause a... So wait, why is there... Why is there that? Must have to do something specifically for that to activate. I do like the kind of uh, retro-y sounding music. You know, it kind of reminds me of some Atari. Actually, it does kind of remind me of Atari. So does it mean at the end of this game we're going to have like some big old kaboom, you know? Like old Atari games are when you uh, when you finish them they're like, you know? Man, I kind of miss that. I kind of miss the simplicity, some of that old stuff. I'm not saying they're better, I'm just like, uh-oh. Whoa! Bullseye! 
train jumper, huh? Jump with that train. All right, now we gotta just, I assume, get to uh, help with that hole. Make a get a chance to get Sly out of there. Gonna get out of there, Sly. We're gonna save ya. I try to remember if it was this game or if it's the sequel that gives us a um, a uh, run ability for for uh, Bentley. Because at some point, I forgot. Like like I said, I forgot if it's this game or if it's the sequel. One of them gives you. Eh, we'll get that better since it's in the way. Uh, yeah, one of them gives him a, like a, a dash ability. I don't remember if it's this one. All the guards along the prison wall are outfitted with a motion tracking device. There's no way for Sly to escape. Unless I take those guys out with my RC chopper. Oh, this minigame. I like this minigame despite it being a... Uh... Attention, attention! Alright. Uh, whoa, whoa! Alright, you're... Come on. Wait, is my... My bombs are working, right? For some reason it didn't seem like I was actually used... Like, my bombs weren't working. Can I? No, I can't do that. Okay. I was wondering if you could actually... I was wondering if you could actually, uh... Um, like, hit that... Hit those bottles and get the, uh... uh get that, but nope. Whoa! Ow! Watch out! You know how much this... this you know how much this drone costs? Yeah, they call it an RC copter, which is what the a lot of stuff was. Oh man. Um, yeah, they used to be called R like remote controls. Now they're called drones. You know, at least. Oh god! Watch out, man! Is that guy hiding in this shack? Are you kidding me, game? Oh man! Dude! Dude, just one more. Come on, man. Ah, nuts. Get up. Wait, is... Oh, did I beat him already? Damage alert. Huh. She's taking damage. Oh, I, oh I, so I just missed him. Uh, or I got him, but... I, okay. Yay! Woo. All right, my drone controls are on par. Oh, now we've released him from the hole. Fly, can you read me? How I miss that sensuous voice of yours. Save the jocular comments for later. Do you see that hook above the train? Yeah. It's your only means of escape. Jump and hit the circle button to grab hold. Then swing onto the back of the train. I've already established a safe house and downloaded its GPS coordinates into your binocucom. We'll rendezvous there. Wow, you've really thought of everything. Don't I always? Yeah. You do. Thanks for busting me out. Oh, well, you know the old saying, if you can't count on a friend to bust you out of jail, what kind of a friend are they? Truer words were never said, wizard. Wizard, huh? A wizard wizard? Now, why did he have his binocucoms in the first place? Wouldn't the Contessa have taken them off of him? Does that mean this is the worst prison ever, despite it looking like a pretty solid prison? Yeah, it doesn't matter. All right, let's get let's get to Bentley and make a plan to save Murray because I guess Murray's in his own little own little spot. So, no, oh, now we can start gathering uh, bottles now if we wanted to, which we. Okay. Oh, uh, can I even get that? Let me see if I can. Uh, oh, nope, failed. Oh God! Oh, ah. All right, we'll we'll get we'll get to you later. I guess we'll. Trying to, so we can get, okay, so we get that from getting that. Oh, no. Oh. Gods everywhere. Gods. Oh, oh, I'll just steal your lunch money. I'm a, ooh, gold medal. I guess these guys have medals here. Well, actually, there's, I think there's rings, pins, medals. There's probably some others, but I can't really think of it. Yeah, well, yeah well, we're on the, oh. Oh yeah. Now well, we're on the way to back to Bentley's or back to the hideout. We'll grab a few bottles. Ah, nuts! Ah. All right. I'll try to uh, I'll try to get be a little bit more effective in this episode on like how I do bottle gathering and stuff like that. Uh, I, I don't know if I'll do a great job of it, but I'll try. 
Oh yeah, I guess I forgot to mention how the game mentions that uh, basically added a new mechanic, which is the swinging mechanic. So you can uh, swing from place to place. Um, okay, guys, you seriously need to lay off you. Lay off! Leave me alone! Alright, I guess time to go, probably a good time to go back to the safe house. Hopefully it'll... Oh, there's one, uh... There's this bot. Ah, I didn't mean to fly. I didn't mean to fall. Oh, well, it, it ends when you get close to it anyway, so never mind. Alright, plan time. Okay, here's the situation. I've done some deep database crunching and figured out that Murray is doing time in cell block D. Getting him out is going to be tough. As you know, he's not very light on his feet. First, we'll need to get Murray into an isolation cell away from the other inmates. Second, I'll need you to get a sample of the Contessa's encryption algorithm. Don't worry, I'll explain later. Third, you'll need to pickpocket a few keys from the Contessa, but watch out for her pack of bodyguards. And fourth, you'll have to deactivate her giant attack robot. Now really, Sly, I'm serious. The Contessa has a giant attack robot. It just looks like a water tower. Now, once you've pulled off all these jobs, we'll be ready to make a play for the big guy. You mean big gal, don't you think? I mean, because Contessa is a... Never mind. Alright, time we got a plan to save Murray, so let's get started. We'll save, uh, we'll start as Bentley first. Or, I thought Bentley had a job. Let me see. Looks like a lot of sly jobs. Or, okay, never mind, there aren't any Bentley jobs. Huh, I thought he said something about needing to do something. Well, never mind then. Time to go back and switch to Sly. The man with the plan. Oh, actually, Bentley, I guess, would be the man with the plan, technically. You would think Sly, being the leader of this group, would be more up to uh, planning. So, like, he would have... A, not being the main plan. I mean, you know, leaders are supposed to be in a lot of these types of games. They're supposed to be the charismatic, but they also have a, like... I don't know if planner's the word, but they're able to bring a group together. But it almost seems like it's Bentley who puts everything. Like, he's the one who does all the plans. Like, like Sly doesn't do any planning at all. But I guess Sly is a, like a, um, what's the word? He's a by-the-cuff-of-his-own-pants type of guy. Like, he needs a, uh, all his plans are, like, well, I, mean, I guess plans would be the word. He does everything, like, right there and then. It's just like, oh, I gotta, I gotta do it this way or I you know I don't know about this I better just uh, just kind of think on my feet you know Where was, did I just did I just not see that oh I guess I just didn't see that huh oh well, I was trying to uh, I was trying to uh, um, I was trying to figure I was like how do I keep going forward and it's like oh there's a uh, the line just keeps going because it's a rail car but for some reason I couldn't see it so I just assumed it wasn't there I don't know what I was thinking. So, oh well. Yeah. I do wear glasses in real life, so I guess maybe I need to check my prescription. I can't do anything without my glasses. Uh, I might as well. Okay. Yeah, that one's pretty close. We'll do that one. I was just trying to also gather some bottles too, so I could kind of, uh, you know, just space them out so I can get get them one one after another really quickly. Although. I'm almost at the end of my time. Let's see if I can grab a few more before we head out. I do hear a couple around here somewhere, so. Um, yeah, since we're. Since the almost, I try to keep these weekend recording games like to a, a minimum of 30 if I can help it. Um, but, uh, I mean, obviously, there's an exception because of the all the. Uh, um, you know, all, some of the episodes so far are other games I've played where I've had like 40 minute, 50 minute ones. Mainly because I'm not very good at spacing out my, uh, um, spacing out stuff, you know. Well, I, I try to, 
I've told this before, but I always try to play these games like, like, I won't say brand new, but I, I play them as if I'm aware of them, but it's been so long, so I kind of want to still have a, like, an element of, like, surprise when I play it, despite me knowing a general idea of, like, what might occur in the, in the game, so. All right. Wait, did you really find me? Come on, man. Oh, nope. Ah, come on. Go away. Ah. All right. Um. Yeah, it's probably more. Uh, probably more around here somewhere. But uh, but I think we'll put on a hold. So in the next episode of Sly Cooper or Sly Two Band of Thieves, we'll put the plan together to save the Murray, our best friend and muscles at arms. So the gang is slowly getting back together. Yeah, it didn't take us long to save Sly, but. I mean, like I said, this game knows like when to go through a story really quick. When I first played, I thought the whole ep like the whole episode would you just be playing as Bentley, and the final mission would be then you breaking them out, and then you all working together at, like the last minute. But uh, that'd be a bit silly by the standards of the game is set. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.